Good day, Grade 12 learners. Um, I'm happy to be with you today. I am Chibizura Alpha from Amatola West. We are going to present uh, mathematical literacy in the topic of our finance, which is forms of uh, our paper one. And this topic is called tariffs. We are going to look at different types of tariffs. As we know, we have got plenty of them. And these are linked to our real life situation. The way we live, we work with them like the water, the electricity, the telephone, the banking, all these kind of tra the tariffs, uh, the transport tariffs, they are part of us as human beings. Therefore, let's get our hands dirty. Let's get started. The first, first and foremost, we have got our uh, water tariffs, we have got electricity tariffs, parking tariffs, banking tariffs, transport, and telephone. Now, if we want to get to the major part of our examination, first and foremost, you need to look at the terminology. The terms are very important to us, therefore we really need to uh, make sure that we understand first and foremost, how do we define tariff? A tariff, in simpler terms, is a charge per unit. Now, the question that is usually asked is that, can you define the term tariff? within the context given. Now, how do you put the context in? If you are given, for example, a water tariff, which is actually measured or with units of kiloliters, then you are going to impose, you are going to also add that aspect of kiloliters into your definition, which is a tariff is a charge per unit, uh, which in this context, we are going to remove the word unit and put kiloliters there. For example, again, in electricity tariffs, where we are going to say now, it is a charge per kilowatt hour of electricity. Now you can actually refer to the question given or give out the name of the person that we are talking about in the question. Uh, adding on to terminology, we have got a word which is, which is prepaid. The word prepaid means, pre, it means before. Now, we are saying prepaid, that means, can you pay that before you use it? That is prepaid. Then we have got postpaid. Postpaid, it means, I can start with the word post. The word post means after. So, your postpaid is going to means you're going to pay after using it. For example, if you are using a contract, then you pay after. If you are using um, postpaid electricity, that means you pay after you have you have used it. You pay after you have you have used that. Then we also go on to the next one, which is our our vet inclusive. Remember. The word VET itself is going to be our value added tax. Now, when we say inclusive, it means we are actually including the VET into that. Then the next one is going to be our VET exclusive, meaning the VET has not been included. So there is no VET into that amount. Um, lastly, we have got our special word or special term here which we use in tariffs which we really i really want you to understand and get to know this very very well we have got a sliding scale a sliding scale can also be called progressive can also be called step scale of bidding these three words they basically mean the same thing sliding scale progressive scale step scale of billing. They means the same thing. What does this mean? This means the more you pay, it just means the more you pay, the more, the more you use, the more you pay. So this is the meaning of, that's the meaning of the word sliding scale progressive scale, steady scale. This is the one that we're going to be using in our tariff, but I am 
going to show you how this uh, type of billing works. Now, looking at to, into this one, uh, we looking at this stepped stepped um, stepped tariff. Uh, I just tried to represent it a uh, graphically way by we have got on the x axis here, uh, on the horizontal, we have got these kilo kiloliters of water. These are the units, and we also have in this context here the amount in rents. That is the price per unit. That is the charge per unit which we call the tariff. So basically, all these are what we call the what? These are the tariff. Because if you are saying in this case, if we look at this one, it, the, let's go to the first one. We have got here from zero to nine. Now I can actually put it in a table saying from zero to nine kiloliters, this is gonna be what? This is going to be charged as um, nine rand Nine rand fifty, nine rand fifty cents per kiloliter of water. Then, if we go on to the next, that will be a nine. Um, that will be nine to to twenty five kiloliters. This is actually being charged on eleven rand twenty two cents per kiloliter. Meaning to say that all these are what we call. Uh, these are the tariffs and these this is the usage so we are looking at the water how are you supposed to be using the water there the first block this is block th th this is actually these are blocks so we're gonna call these blocks we're gonna call them blocks these are blocks so we have got block one that's block one that's block two we go on to block three where we're gonna have what where we're gonna have a 25 to a 25 to 30, which is charged at 14, 14 rand 95 cents per per kiloliter. Now, um, we continue there. Let me also put the block block four. Block four. Now we are having the 30, 30 to 30 to 45 which is going to be charged at, which is going to be charged at, that's the 30 here to 45. And we, if we go up there, we go to notice that this is where the 30 to 45 is. And we're going to actually follow that. And we see there, we're going to have a 23 rand, what? 23 rand and five, cent, and, and five cents. Then lastly, we have got on block five. On block five, where we're going to have that, where we're going to have that, and we're gonna have, we're gonna actually have that. And on that block five now, we are having then 45, let me say 45 plus, meaning to say that we are saying 45 kiloliters and more is gonna be charged at what? That is gonna be charged at, it's gonna be charged at 45 um, kilo and, and more, it's gonna be charged at 25 rand and 36 cents. So basically, this is what we have. This is actually representing, but as I'm putting that one over there, I am actually going somewhere where we're gonna show you in a table format as far as this, uh, th this, these tariffs are concerned. But we call this a stepped tariff because in the beginning, um, if you look at the usage, the usage is from zero to nine, and it's being charged at nine rand fifty per kiloliter. Then after that, as we increase the usage, it also increases in the what in the amount or in the price per kiloliter. And if we go to the next, it's actually increasing, stepping up, stepping up. That is why we call this a stepped tariff, meaning to say that the more water you use in this context, and that is the more you are going to pay as far as that is concerned. Now, I just want us to go and try and work out and see uh, if we can have some previous question, uh, previous question, questions where we can deal with um, specifically this water tariff. Right. Let us.
quickly engage with this question and see what we have here. We have got Tando received the slip below after purchasing prepaid. After purchasing prepaid. Prepaid is coming in. And remember, we have defined prepaid where we said prepaid is um, before. We said prepaid is going to be before, before, before use. So pay before use. Pay before use. That will be prepaid in this case. Now, we have got that information there, and we have got a prepaid water slip. Prepaid water slip, which I want us to probably study this very carefully. Um, learners, grade 12s, I so wish you can understand and master the concept that whenever you are given a table, whenever you are given a till slip, a, any financial document, any graph, any picture, study that before you go to the questions. That will help you better to understand what is required as far as the questions are concerned. And now, if we look at the water slip there, we have got uh, the first thing we have got um, the Mangawu Metropolitan Municipality Credit Token. Now, my focus is basically on this part here where we are having uh, the tariff. This is where we have got the tariff. Now, looking at this, we have got the first six kiloliters at 9,6600 rands per kiloliter. What does this mean? This means to say that in that block one, in that block one there, we are going to use six kiloliters. We are going to take, or we are allowed to use a maximum of six kiloliters. Then that six kiloliters, we multiply that by nine rand 66 cents. And surely we're gonna get that 57 rand and 96 cents then in block two the maximum we can get in block two is going to be nine kiloliters multiply that by 22 rand 72 cents and surely you're going to get there um a 204 rand 48 cents in the third block we are on the third block where we have got 15 kiloliters multiply that by 25 rand and 23 cents then we are not given anything there so meaning to say that that is something that you are going to find. Now, in a nutshell, how do you get that uh, missing value there? It's simply by multiplying 15, multiply by what? By the tariff, which is 25 rand, 23 cents, and we get that one right over there. Then, in the last block, we have got a 22,4 kiloliters there. Now, in this case, 22,4 kiloliters there at 29 rand, 69 cents then we're gonna get that then we get that one over there um we are given all this information there and we are told that vet is 15 percent remember in the beginning i mentioned the issue of vet inclusive and vet exclusive whereby you are going to uh, focus on those ones as well i know this is a, a part of uh, it's a chapter on its own which you have you have done already even in your grade 10 and your grade 11, but let's continue with this one here, which is the tariff. Now, the total amount that we have here is actually 1,305.95 cents. Where are we getting that? We are getting that amount in adding all these four, meaning to say that you add the first one, the second, the third, and the fourth. And on this third, it was a missing value, meaning to say that you need to calculate that one there fill it in, then you add, and you're gonna get that. Then value added tax there, which is going to be 15% of that, and we get 195 rand 89 cents. Meaning to say that now, after that, now we have got the total. The total now is gonna be what, it's gonna, the total is, now we have got a total of um, 1,000, oh sorry. Now we have a total of, 1,501 rand 84 cents. So that is the total that we are having in this case here. Now, we are told that we have got free units there, which is zero anyway, so we don't have any free units. What about the credit units? Where do we get the 54 rand and 54.40 kiloliters? Now, for you to get the kiloliters, you add all those four, in order for you to get that 52,40 kiloliters. A 
so in a nutshell this is what you're supposed to do you study the slip first before you go to the questions then you can go to the questions and see if possible you can answer you can answer all of them let us just look at question 1.11 write down tando's water meter and now you are going to the table now or to the slip that you have and you find tando's meter number which is there is the meter number there is the meter number so you are just going to take that one there and you write it down define the term tariff in the given context i defined tariff in the beginning and in this case we are going to say now a tariff is a charge per unit a tariff is a charge per unit in and in this case we are saying it's a charge per kiloliter because we have got these kiloliters here now if we look at the next one we have got identify the maximum number of kiloliters that can be bought at 9.66 um, zero zero per kiloliter so we need the maximum number of kiloliters in this case so if we look we're gonna go back there to look at the 9.660 and we're gonna have the six kiloliters so the six kiloliters will be the answer in that context now lastly we are going to have the determine the missing value that is the cost of using what 15 kiloliters of water in the above context how are we going to work out this 15 kiloliters of water in the above context the first thing that we are going to do now is that you're going to go to block one and to block one how many kiloliters do you get there on the maximum it's a six multiplied by what the nine comma six six a zero zero and you're going to get that it's given already there we've got a 5796 we go on again to the next to the next block which is block two and in block two we have got a maximum of nine kiloliters then we multiply that by a 22 comma um, 72 kiloliters then that is we're going to get there a 204 uh, point 48 then from there now you add you add the answer for that and you add there in order for us to get the what the total cost because the question is asking us total cost so this is exactly what we how we work out uh, on a water tariff uh, my great 12 learners i hope you enjoyed the water tariff and it shall be continued at a later stage um, thank you very much